everyone. Welcome to another special edition of Inside Government. My guest in studio this time around, I have Team Student Support Services Division from the Ministry of Education, Culture, Youth, and Sport, represented by Ms. Tamara Kronovelt and Ms. Sharitza Peterson. So great to have both of you in the studio with us for this edition. How is things going? Well, thank you for having us. Things are going well on my end. Sharitza? Yeah, things are also going well on my end too as so, well. Thank you for having us. Okay, so personally and, and work-wise, everything's going okay. Yeah, yeah. things right. are going well. Things are going well. I want to jump straight into this event that's coming up. Um, there's a series of workshops that I noticed the Student Support Services Division is quite active with. And this specific one is dealing with a topic I think is, in my personal and professional opinion, quite timely. Conflict resolution. Can you provide me, Tamara, a little background as to why the division saw this particular workshop as being timely? Well, conflict resolution, I mean, we face or we encounter conflict almost every day. And especially within the schools last year, we did a workshop on basically fighting in, fighting in schools and how it could be resolved. And so we know that fighting usually comes about via conflict. And so we decided to go one step ahead of before it actually gets mm. to the, the fights, whereby persons can be encouraged to uh, work their conflicts out, know how to come to a resolution, and know that it doesn't necessarily always have to result in a fight. But if we could learn or teach our young children how to adequately resolve conflicts, maybe have conversations, we figured that maybe we could help prevent fights from happening or more fights from happening within the schools. Okay, so we have the fights in schools that are clear. Everyone's seeing it. Uh, social media plays a, a, a very serious factor um, in our society. Tell us what the ministry is looking at in regard to how to deal with this. I know the workshop will address some of these issues, but um, overall, give us a general look at how the ministry is looking at this particular issue social media in our schools, especially when it comes to conflicts? I really can't speak on behalf of the entire ministry, but I can speak on our, on our part with the parent education workshops on what we're doing to help to contribute to uh, resolving conflicts within the schools and for us to play our active role within the community in, in helping these young people and the community at large because, of course, we also do encourage members of the community and parents to come out as well to these workshops in order to bring about the awareness mm -hmm. and so that everyone is informed, ed everyone is educated, and everyone knows how to uh, go about resolving different issues that we bring forth to, to the public. And like I said, we usually try to bring very timely topics to the public so that you know, sometimes we feel very helpless and no one is doing anything. So we play our role in trying to in trying to push that agenda forward, helping the community at large. I'm sure that we'll get into more details of, of how people can actually deal with that, how citizens can deal with um, our conflict resolution. What are some points that you can bring out as just a, as a teaser in, in this particular interview to let people know what they can expect going into this workshop? Okay, well, basically we have our, we, we're not going to be the ones that will be facilitating the workshop, but we will have different activities, icebreakers, as well as um, the introduction of conflict, the do's and don'ts of, of conflict, e the effects of conflict, how to manage it properly, and of course, when we talk about escalation, prevention, and of course, the effects of conflict resolution. How can it help persons? How can it bring about change? what can be the, the long-term effects of conflict resolution. Any additional points, Sarita, that one should look at when it comes to conflict resolution um, that you can share with us? One thing I wanted to highlight um, is that conflict, conflict is something normal. It's a normal way of life. And so um, it is the way we deal with those conflicts is what matters. So that is something I wanted to really highlight, that it is not something out of the ordinary, it's a normal way of life. All right. Where would the workshop be held? The workshop will be held at the University of St. Martin on Wednesday, April 17th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Room 202, that's where we usually would have our, our 
parent education workshops. Now, you said you will not personally be doing the facilitating, but who did the uh, division look at to help with facilitating this exercise? Well, we asked Veronica Hazel to facilitate this workshop. She has a background in, in, um, in doing various workshops. She's been working with the schools for many years, and right now she's a part of the Educational Care Center. And so she sees, sees these things on a regular basis. She sees children, how conflict would play out between uh, kids on a usual, regular basis. So we, of course, asked her to be the person to facilitate this workshop. Was this something that we were dealing with before within education? Um, or is this now because of this current state of affairs um, that we chose to head in this direction? Was this something that the ministry was seeing way in advance? Well, as Sharita said, conflict is a normal part mm-hmm. of our daily lives. I mean, you and I both see conflict on a regular basis. Probably you might not. I don't know, you know, <laughs> but I know on a regular basis, even if you're driving, when you're driving and you, you see persons, somebody might cut you off. That in and, in and of itself is a conflict because, you know, you might react differently or so, or even if you go to the supermarket or wherever you might go, somebody tell you something that you might not necessarily like. Right. That's a conflict. And so we have a, a decision. How are we going to deal with this conflict? How are we going to handle it? Are we going to flick them flick them off? Or are we going to resolve it by having a conversation? Are we going to ignore it? And are we going to ignore it until it escalates to a different point? I mean, we're all, some of us are in relationships. I'm pretty sure that, you know, we face conflict regularly and every day in some of our relationships, whether it's with our partners, with our colleagues, whoever it might be, we have to deal with people nonetheless. So as a part of student support services, we try to bring forth issues that are relevant to, like I said, everyone, that where everyone could benefit from it, or sometimes you would target a specific audience. But in this case, I think that everyone, not just students, not just parents, not just teachers, I think everyone, even to me, <laughs> could benefit from some conflict resolution. Which leads me into my next question of uh, as to um, anyone sitting down listening to this interview now wants to figure out, um, should I, am I qualified to attend? Who can attend? Everyone, essentially, parents, educators, social workers, members of the community, Everyone is invited to attend the session. Any future workshops related like this? Is this going to be like a series or is this going to be the one-time um, venture or on this particular topic? Or do you see that this will continue? Well, we, we usually try to bring different topics every time we have a workshop. Mm-hmm. And we usually have four workshops, four parent education workshops per year. Despite the fact that they might be called parent education workshops, they're actually workshops for everyone. So for this year, we, we have a few topics in mind, but because we have not verified them, I would prefer not to actually mention those topics. But last year, when we were here the last time, we had a, a series of different workshops that we performed throughout the year. We had, in September, we had the special needs special needs workshop, which catered to families that have special needs children. And oftentimes, you know, that sometimes that population is sometimes overlooked. And it was well attended last year. And we also had the workshop that we were here for, which was the drugs and the influence of music, where we had Mr. Linworth Wilson facilitated that workshop. And that was quite well attended as well. And in September, no, November, November. yes, November, (laughs) we had the Fighting in Schools Mm -hmm. workshop, which was also very relevant at the time as well. So we, so for this year, this is the first one that we're doing for 2019. And for the rest of the year, we'll definitely keep you updated and informed on the different workshops that we plan to hold. We can work it out how to resolve conflict and teach our children conflict resolution skills happening on the uh, Wednesday, 17th of April. That is this week. Uh, So come on out, University of St. Martin, 7 o'clock, and um, learn how you can deal with conflict resolution. Um, Any final words? 
Well, my final words are come out, come out, and come out. You definitely will not be disappointed with the workshop. Veronica Hazel is planning to bring force, might, and a lot of information to this workshop. So I definitely encourage the public to come out and come out in force. I mean, every day we, you and I both face conflict, and if we could learn how to resolve it, I think we could work together for a better St. Martin overall. Tamara Kronevelt, social worker, and Sharitza Peterson, social worker at Student Support Services Division. Ladies, thank you very much for coming in and, of course, sharing this important information and encouraging us to be a part of this upcoming workshop. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. And for our television viewers and radio listeners, thank you for tuning in and being a part of this special edition of Inside Government. If you've missed our broadcast, be sure to log on to the official government website, stmartingov.org. Be sure to hit that like button. And, of course, go to the official YouTube channel for video on demand. On behalf of the Department of Communication, I'm Cedric Peterson. Thanks for tuning in.